bodies had been rolled down the wall from above mm. because they have a tenant, they seem to at this point, and we we're only just out of the field and analyzing, but mm -hmm. what we're seeing in the field suggests that they were rolled down the wall and in some cases are stacking up on top of each mm. other. Uh, keep in mind that we've only opened up a space 10 feet wide. Sure. So I can't tell you what's going on on either, on either side, side of that, but I can right, tell you what's going right, on here. Right. So, but it, so this is a group that looks like they may have been rolled down the wall. Mm -hmm. But then next to them are a series of uh, long bones, leg bones, if you will, mm -hmm. that are laid per perpendicular to the wall. They mm. don't appear to have been rolled down the wall. And then adjacent to them are the femurs that we identified, which are also perpendicular to the wall. And then off to the far side of the ditch are other elements, uh, dis, uh, uh, commingled or mm -hmm. dismembered elements, if mm -hmm. you will, which also don't appear to have been rolled down the wall. So there seems to have been both kind of immediate, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, moving people from inside the fort down, but then some more purposeful placement of body parts in the bottom of so the ditch. Maybe 